in my previous video i discussed regarding the forward chaining or forward reasoning in knowledge extraction in ai so in this video i'll be discussing regarding the second type of uh, reasoning way that is the backward reasoning or backward chaining so stay tuned to my video to understand how this is done in knowledge extraction this is ranjaraj and you are streaming on the study base los gates so first of all uh, backward reasoning is uh, basically reasoning from goals back to facts so in uh, forward reasoning or forward chaining you had set of facts and set of rules from that you have to reach the goal so in backward chaining uh, you have that particular goal and from goals you have set of uh, rules given and from that goals and rules you have to derive new facts in the working memory so it starts with something to find out and looks for the rule that will help in finding it so it has already something to prove and from that rule it will apply some rules to that uh, particular goal state and it will try to derive some new facts from that so this is how it basically works and uh, the inference rule contains one such kind of rule for applying uh, or for doing the backward chaining and so that rule is called as modest tollen or reverse modest tollen so what modest tollen says that uh, given a goal state and set of rules apply the rule so that the goal state until you have reached the fact or until the fact is found in that so uh, you have this uh, goal that is it is a fact q now this is the goal consider in this and you have p derives q that is the rule so uh, according to modest tollen you have q and you have this p derives q rule and you can prove p so this is the uh, way it is written in modest tollen so this is backward chaining means from goals you have applied certain kind of rules and from rules you are going back to facts so uh, let's consider one example similarly we have considered for uh, forward chaining so in this you have fact p rule p derives q and q derives r and you have to prove r is true so r is our goal and you have to prove this that this is true so for that first we'll consider this goal itself that is r and what we'll do is we just derive r and we'll see its premise now uh, whether this has to be a lhs or rhs that is dependent upon this rule now we will check this so first uh, we'll check this so this cannot be applied since there is no matching criteria to this then we'll consider this and you just have to write in this way that is q derived r in this way now this you have done by using modest tollen so mt and you will derive a new fact that is q and so this is backward chaining so you will put a arrow in this way and uh, you will forward it now you have one new fact in the working memory that is q you will write q so this is basically you have inferred q from this you have q here and from this uh, you have already used this and now you have left with this one so it will be p derives q and so you can infer this p here and this is by using modest tollen and a arrow upward so it's like the statement that is uh, the goal state is true and so you can write in this way that is p derived q q derived r but, but in a backward way or uh, in this way r q p so p derived q q derived r in this way either this this is the forward chaining and this is the backward chaining so this is uh, how this example works and mainly you have to stress on this part that what is your premise you have to first consider whether it is an lhs or rhs accordingly you have to infer those particular fact so there is an algorithm like we had for uh, forward chaining in backward chaining you have you have to apply the repeat loop and look for the rule who will find the fact in the working memory and consider the premise of the rule premise in this case is left hand side or right hand side so in this we'll consider only the right hand side since we have uh, we'll consider only the left hand side since we already have the right hand side in this now we have to consider the premise of the rule until some given fact is uh, a premise now this fact now you have uh, inferred from this so now this again become a premise that a uh, premise at the right hand side to apply for the next modest tollen and since uh, this is a premise so we'll apply that new fact here and you will infer that p there and so it goes up in this way and you have one state diagram in this transition diagram you can say so you have the goal state uh, you have the initial state condition check and lhs rhs 
So we have the initial state given. So from initial state, it will check whether it has to go to LHS or RHS. If a condition check is there and if a new state is found, then you directly apply it to the goal state. Else, if a goal match is found, then RHS is proved as the LHS and it will update it to the working memory. So, uh, well, that's all about the backward chaining or uh, backward reasoning in knowledge extraction in AI. So, hope you enjoyed this video. From this video, helpful. Please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, moreover, if you like these videos of AI, so I have one written material in a PDF format. So if anybody wants this kinds of uh, lecture notes from my playlist, there are around uh, some 30, 31 videos in that particular playlist. So I will be updating. So if uh, anyone wants to have these kinds of lecture notes in a PDF format, just let me know in the comment box below. Thank you.